Yes, this is AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. In the previous installment, we gallivanted about town and took odd jobs from the townsfolk. And that is going to be about what we are doing today. We have a lovely young chap by the name of Donald who has some work for us to complete for him on the other side of town. I actually have no idea what spurred my interest in talking like that. That actually kind of like hurts my voice box to do. I had to dig way down into the cone of my of my voice range for that, and I just ran into that guy and messed up his ride. I, I don't even know like who or what that was supposed to even sound like. Maybe like an Englishman, I suppose. I don't even know. It was a very very poor rendition of one. I'm sure if I have any viewers from the uh, from the the province area country of England, they're all gonna be like, what the hell was that? <laughs> You're giving us all a bad name, you you jackass. You're ruining it for everybody. But yeah, so I talked like that and that's what happened. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. I've <laughs> I have a story for you. Let's go see what he has what he has for us. Walk I got see that wipeout. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war. Apart from an out Why is everything so gray? Might be going too far in this case. I don't feel like it's supposed to be like that. Notice the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Castle. Kenji? Oh Kenji no! Not that guy again! Car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. Well, alright. Kenji? Dude, we were just doing missions for that asshole not too long ago. Of course, you know, everything, he ended up getting all pissy at us because we did, like, one thing that he didn't want us to do. And now he's like, Oh, you got out of my face! You go work for a white man! I thought he'd kill you! So, yeah, that's what that was all about. Now, you get to go knock him out, huh? Demo! Hey, you got knocked the fuck out. Well, we're gonna figure this out right quick. Okay, so I gotta tell you a story. This is one of the best things I've heard in a while. So my brother was working up at uh, at our other store yesterday, and he sends me a text. He's like, "Dude, I've got to tell you about this guy that just came in." I was like, "All right, we'll shoot for it." So like, okay, so this this old like Englishman guy comes in, had a real strong English accent and all that, all that shit, and he's like. <laughs> kind of like saunters off towards like the male enhancement area section place and so he walks over there and asks him he's like hey sir is there anything I can help you with and he's like well you know I'm I was looking for something for uh, for the old for the old uh, the old John Thomas and my brother just looks at him like what <laughs> he's like I, I'm, I'm not familiar with that terminology what what is your John Thomas if I may ask he's like you know you're the, the John Thomas He's like, I, what are you? He's like, are you referring to your penis or? And he's like, he's like, well, yeah. He's like, he's, he's like, I'm gonna be honest with you, sir. I have never heard that usage of that ever in my life. <laughs> I've never. It's like, is that like a common thing where you're from? Because I've literally never heard anybody say that before. But now, you know, to everybody else, you're welcome. You now have the world's most awesome slang word for your for your purple-headed yogurt slinger ever in the world <laughs> it's, it's even better that he had like a full-on formal name for it amongst other things it's like for anybody that actually like gives their dick a nickname actually giving it a full-on last name is hilariously awesome like most people would only give it like a like one name like well I don't know I'm, I, I'm not gonna really go into examples or anything but yeah, there we go cool I know, I'll be identified, that's the whole point of me getting this car in the first place. But yeah, I, th I thought it was hilarious. I was just like, who the hell would name their dick the John Thomas? <laughs> like, like imagine, you know, you're getting ready to, getting ready to, you know, slide it all up and right in some girl's roast beef curtains. And all of a sudden, he's like, all right, you ready to see, you ready to meet John Thomas? Who's that? My meat stick? What the hell is this guy's deal? Alright, see you later. Come on, guys. Come and meet your maker! Da -da -da -da. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me right now! 
Really? They blew up the car, those fuckers. Alright. Why are there so many taxis here? Not a whole lot of taxis. It's not even like a taxi port, it's just... There's a whole bunch of them here for like no apparent reason. And now I have the cops on me. That's just great. Well, just to avoid having to deal with that, I might as... Might as well just load up a new one. To start over. I'll keep all my ammo and all that stuff, but I'll have the cops off of my balls, so that's going to make that all the better. Dude, I can't believe that. That was stupid. Okay, so apparently these guys are incredibly good at shooting my shooting my old uh, gas pipe area. Gas pipe? Gas tank. Wow. What the hell is my problem? So yeah, there you go. Now you have a new name for your, for your old schlong there. Never heard that ever in my life. I thought it was just the greatest thing ever. Oh, okay. I have another story for you, too. This lady pissed me the hell off. Of course, you know, it wouldn't be a regular day at work for Adam if, if there wasn't a lady that pissed him off. But, I mean, at, working in retail, you are guaranteed at least one of those a day. But this lady just fucking, like, crossed the line. So here we go. So here's here's the backstory of it first before I get into it, because some of you may not understand what's going on. So, you know, as any business ever that deals with retail, if you special order something, they usually give you an allotted amount of time that you have to come pick it up before they put it back out on the shelf from you not coming in to get it. They're usually like, you know, 10 days, 15 days, whatever. Ours is 15. Just throwing that out there. If they don't come in by then or give us any sort of notice telling us, hey, you know, I'm going to be out of town or, you know, I, you know, I'm sick, I can't come in and get it. You know, for other situations like that, then, you know, that's that's acceptable, but now I'll get into the story. We had been holding this these, these two products for a lady for, th like, 22 days, like a little over three weeks. So she was, you know, past her thing. She comes in today looking for her product that she ordered. And so, me being me, I'm like, okay, well, let me, let me take a look and see if it's here or not. Because I didn't know that we had already put it back out on the shelf and somebody came and bought them already. So... And then it, it like it dawns on me all of a sudden that that's exactly what happened. And I was like, "Well, your products aren't—they're not here." She's like, "What do you mean they're not here?" I was like, "Well, you ordered these three weeks ago, and we had already called you on two different occasions to tell you that they were here, and we never heard back from you. So we put them back out on the shelf, and somebody came in and bought them." She's like, and then she, dude, she just blew her stash. You did what? You gave my products to somebody else? Why would you do that? Like, well, because of the fact that, A, this is a very popular product of ours. We have a lot of people that have been waiting for these. Two, we called you twice already to give you fair notice that, you know, that you had X amount of time to come get your product before we were going to sell them. And we never heard from you, so you really didn't give us much of a choice. And, uh, so that obviously didn't settle with her very well. She's like, I can't believe that you would have done that. I buy it, and it's it's always it's this is always how it goes. I buy so much money. I I, I spent so much money in here. I can't believe you guys would do that. I was like, well, we'll order more for you. I mean, it's not like we're never gonna get this again. It's not like this was the the one time we were gonna order this product and we're never gonna do it again. It's like, well, I mean, we'll, we're definitely gonna get some more, and you know, if, if you'd like us to hold them for you, and if you're going to actually come in on time and pick them up this time, we'd be glad to we'd be glad to hold them for you for as long as you want. She's like, well. If I just pay for them ahead of time, can you guarantee me that you're not going to be giving my deals away to other people? And I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. Giving your deals away to other people? Exactly what deal do you think that you're getting that other people aren't getting? It's like, we're not giving you any any special thing that, you know, somebody else wasn't getting. It's like, don't try to put yourself up on this pedestal that doesn't exist saying that you're you're better than other people. I just, uh, I hate that mindset. It's like, it'd be nice if, you know, if you would have called us to tell us. She's like, well, I was on a business trip. That's why I didn't come in and get it. It's like, well, then why didn't you tell us that? Because she left on this this so-called business trip of hers, you know, well before. Oh, no. Here we go. Now we got to deal with this. Okay, let's, let's see if we can... Wow, that guy's gone. Let's see if we can get their attention in this fashion. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Whoa, whoa. Calm down there, Broseph. There we go. Come on, come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. You must die. You must die. This is 
was actually doing absolutely nothing, really. Wow, that guy was just, like, phasing through the wall. That was kind of weird. Okay, I've got to find a way to pull this off. There's got to be a way. I can't get out of the car, though. That's the part that sucks. That's the only thing I can't do. Huh. I've got a little bit of an idea, though. If I can pull it off, it's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm going to go around him. Go, baby, go! Go, baby, go! Go! Hurry up! Yeah! <laughs> you know that's exactly why they put that there. That was like the sole purpose of that being there, was for you being able to do that. Go. Please tell me I didn't flip it over. Awesome. Go. Go, baby, go! I don't know where to go! Shoot. This is the only downside of this. They did not tell me where to go. Do I go here? Is this where I need to go? I don't even know. Yes, dump the car. Go out. Yes. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Ugh. We done did it. We did it. <laughs> and now that cop has no idea. Well, wait a minute. There's no way in that car anymore. I don't even have anyone to chase. Dear God. But yeah, I just, I, I, I think it's ridiculous that people have that mindset that because they, you know, they come in like once a month and spend like a hundred bucks that they're just entitled for us to have to hold products for them for just this. You know, infinite amount of time because, well, I spend a lot of money in here, and so, you know, I deserve to have the rules bent for me because, you know, I do this and do this and do this. It's like, you're no different than any other people, especially the other people that come in here more frequently than you and spend, you know, way more money than you do, so, you know, take your old, your old saggy vagina off the pedestal here. It's not like I'm giving you, I'm not giving you any extra deals because just because I knew your daughter in high school. That's just not how, I mean, I don't even give a lot of my best friend's parents discounts higher than what I would normally get myself. What is he doing? Doing some Tai Chi in your all one color? In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Well, okay. I guess if I have to do it that way, I mean, we get to go be in a boat. Yay! Oh, crap. We gotta go fast. Oh, no. Oh, God. What's the fastest way to get to the, to the docks to get a boat? I'm guessing this is going to be about the fastest way we can do it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. That could have been better, and it could have been worse. Go, 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 go. Come on, get a different car. Let's go. I don't care about my landing. We need to hurry up. Like, right the hell now. Oh, my God. Of course I'd have to go all the way up this thing and go back out again. Um, -na 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 -na. come on. We can go this way. I don't even care. I know we're over by a freaking what's or giant's place. This is this is gonna be all we need. We just need to get down there is all. Who's got a boat? Asuka's place will have a boat. I know that. We we've, we've already been there recently for all of our boating needs. Yes, so let's do that right now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it didn't quite work out as well as I wanted. But it wasn't terrible either. <laughs> Go. Run, Claude, run! Use your incredible, like, Oscar Pistorius caliber running skills. Even though he's going to jail for a long time, I think, for shooting his girlfriend. Okay, we got a boat. It's definitely not the type of boat that I want, though. I want, I want a faster boat, like this one. Watch, I'm... I actually only had like two minutes total just to get through the whole... Oh, no! Okay, wow. I don't even know what just happened there. That was really weird. No! 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 What are you doing right now? Jeez. Well, this is going to be an absolute failure. Oh, the plane's out in range. Okay. I was like, there's no way that... That would be able to work that way. What are you doing? Why isn't this thing turning? No. No, no, no. Turn. 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 What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. I can't win right now. Turn the damn boat. Oh, my God. This thing right now. Okay, here we go. Now we're, now we're all good. 
Oh boy, we're gonna have all the feds on us right now. Oh no. Dude, we're gonna have six stars of goodness. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. That's probably not gonna be a positive thing. You got any more? You have all the packages. Take them back to Donald. Oh my god, dude. We're gonna get back on the shore, and this is gonna be all bad. Oh no. I am not ready for this. Not one bit am I ready. Okay. Oh boy. Yep, they know I'm here. Go! Get up there on the dock. Okay. Oh god. I need to have a better car than what I'm going to be suited with. I mean, at least we're going to have something fast. That's about the only thing, the only credit we're going to have for a bit of a, for a moment here. Oh god. He's so far away, too. Well, actually, he's not really that far away. Go. Come on, baby. You just need to move. It's the only oh, no. They got the... Oh, God. They got the secret agent cars after us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go. Run, baby, run. <laughs> baby Ruth. Oh, no. It's another, another one. And another one. Why are there so many of these guys? It's like every car on the road is one of these things right now. Go. 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 You. This is actually going to work out really well. That was way better than I could have ever expected. Go! Get in there! <sighs> Only 10,000 for that, huh? R? That guy? Whoa. What are you guys doing? It's it's the it's the old Fabai, huh? So what are these guys doing here? I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that car if with a 10 foot pole. They'll be all up in my ass for that. But yeah, so there there was my rant for the day. I actually feel kind of better having gotten that off my chest because it was kind of pissing me off. I just hate when people are like, everybody's got that mindset of, well, I've been shopping here for a little while, so you know everybody everybody treat me different because I'm special. Well, that didn't work out very well at all. All right, guys. Well, what I need to do still is I need to go to the damn gym. I need to go uh, go lay down on a on a on a bench and uh, lift some iron iron slabs up into the uh, into, up into the old cosmos there because I'm actually going to be lifting them into space not not just you know like a, a couple inches above my head I'm gonna actually lift them all the way into space of course if that actually happens then I'll, I'll send you guys a picture I'll post a picture of that happening because a I'll have found a way to you know stretch Armstrong my entire body to lift all the way into space and uh, that'll have actually happened. It'll be the most viral thing to ever happen, ever. All right, guys. Well, we've run out of time for this episode. So when we come back next time on Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3, we're going to do some more missions. And apparently we get to go see what Mr. Uh, Mr. Bathroom Juggernaut's doing. So this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.